Now then, Mighty Sexy Nine here. Boom! I got a deadly. Right, so uh, today, playing on Kitten Squad. Don't really know what to make of it. It's the first time I've fucking played on it. But it strikes me as one of those games where it's not fucking rocket science. You just go around in a circle shooting these fucking mad robot shit. And you're laughing. No, oh, I'm twatting them with tomatoes. Get in there. So, do the little bastards. You collect the coins, I imagine they are cat coins. And then if you're dying, you can get a little love heart to get your life back. So, there you go. First bit done. Tell you what, man, the fucking weather over here in Spain is absolutely atrocious. It's fucking thunder and lightning. It started this morning about fucking five o'clock in the morning, and it's just been like it all day. Fucking Spain. And so, I shoot these fucking blocks of wood to get extra bonuses out. These aren't attacking me. Alright, so, eat that, so that was an easy level. Fair one. So it's been a fucking a mad couple of days. What with uh, fucking Eric Bristow coming out and saying that, <laughs> that people who sexually abuse his kids are puffs or pansies and they should sort the fucking abusers out. It's a bit weird. Uh, obviously I'll link all the shit I talk about below. But then he's come out and said that he didn't mean that, he just meant that the, the kids should sort them their abusers out later in life. I'm assuming he wasn't fucking abusing shit otherwise he just said well, that's what I did I fucking battered them blah 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 so on this game you have to collect these fucking little trinkets because at the start there's a fucking an owl I think it was an owl a frog and a deer or something and they give you fucking quests and shit to do so fair one it strikes me as just one of these games where like you say, it's not too fucking strenuous, you're not fucking solving mad fucking puzzles and shit. You could just play it when you're pissed or hung over. It's easy on the mind. So you're laughing really. Oh, you can't not. You don't want to shoot them. Just shoot these fucking blocks, get the shot out of them and move on to the next one. So this, this level... Uh, this, sorry, yeah, this level, I suppose, is called Libby the Orca. We have to go and rescue this orca who's trapped in Sea World, um, which is good. And now we're twatting balls of yarn at them. Get in there. Now, what the fuck is that? It's like a fucking alien crab. What is... I don't know. I have a clue what I'm fucking collecting on the floor. Oh, the tomatoes are back. These tomatoes slow you down if you stand on them. So like I say, it's, it's alright man this, I mean it's a free game that you, you get on the Playstation Network. I'd be a bit dead bored if I bought it and it was like this. But I doubt looking at the box I would have fucking bought it anyway, look, like on appearance I wouldn't have bought it. Like I say, for free, it's just one of those games you can chill out if you've had a fucking shit day or whatever. You just become a fucking cat who goes around destroying robots and shit. Just getting back to the the, uh, the Bristol thing about the, the football coaches who abused like youth players and shit like that. <clears throat> um, it's come out that Chelsea paid off a youth player, made him sign like a confidentiality um, form so he wouldn't tell anyone. But that's come out. And I think over the next couple of months there's going to be so many fucking people coming forward about it. I know a Spurs player came forward or something, I can't remember who he was fucking abused by. I think it might be this lad at crew like everyone else. Well, it's just mad, like, what can they fucking do now about it? Like, will they punish the team if they knew about it? How would they punish them? Obviously, financial compensation will be one of the things, but how the fuck else but can you? Well, get in there, put it is now. Boom. This, see, I thought I was going to die here because this is quite a hard bit of it. But if this is as hard as it gets, now we've got ball bearings going in there. That's as hard as it gets. 
I'll be happy. Also, for the last couple of days, fucking... See that? Paul Barron's going over there. Um, yeah, over the last couple of days, it's come out that Cheryl Cole is pregnant by that lad from One Direction, who she's known since he was 14. When they were on X Factor, she was a judge, was X Factor? Pop Idol, one of them shit things, fuck those. But, uh, yeah, so she's known him since he was 14. It's a bit fucking dodgy, that man. If it was a lad, if it was Simon Cowell to come out that he got a contestant pregnant that he's known since she was 14, it'd be fucking outrage. But, you know, all uh, the feminists are on Cheryl's side and shit, I suppose. Oh, I like the ball bearings, man. The ball bearings are class because it just fucking bumps around and knack everyone. Go and collect all this shit. What's that? What's that? Get my legs back. Collect these shit. What is that? A horn? No. Oh. Oh, what is it? Whoa, what was that? A boxing glove. Fucking get in there. Oh, and I've just finished fucking doing Movember. So I grew a proper fucking... Ridiculous tash, really. It looked like a, a fucking bat. Not a baseball bat. It looked like Ozzy Osbourne style. It looked like an et, a actual fucking animal bat. Um, I'll put the, the link in the description so you can have a, at least have a fucking look at my, my stupid tash. If you want to donate, you can fucking donate, can't you? Let's check myself to a can, so I'll just crack that open. Okay, so this game, man, I swear to God, like, I, I got it because I love cats. I've got, like, I had three. Yeah, one of them died, so. And I've got two, obviously, great maths, eh? Um, But it's just easy, man. It's just, like you say, your kids could even fucking play on it, I think. Not like you'd want to encourage your kids to give a, a kitten a gun and go around shooting fucking stuff, like. But it's just easy. This pisses me off. You can't aim with these fucking rockets that's going over. <sighs> nice paint. I wish I could fucking show you the weather. It's absolutely fucking horrendous. You wouldn't think it, man. You can, from the beach, which is a five minute walk from us, you can see the coast of Africa. And it's fucking thunder and lightning, man. Thunder and lightning. Absolutely horrendous. Reminds me of Borough. With their smackers and shit. Oh, I watched a class film last night called 21 Grams uh, with Sean Penn in. And the woman is from The Ring, the blonde woman, the mother. And um, she's in it. Um, it's fucking quite good actually. It's about a man who gets. The, a heart transplant and basically stalks the uh, the Gadji's wife, gets with her and they hunt down the person who killed her husband to kill him. I don't want to spoil the ending but it's, it's fucking worth a watch. As you can see I'm getting closer to rescuing the fucking orca or Olivia um, here because the bosses are getting a bit harder by the looks of it. Collect, make sure you collect everything. Yeah, shoot that. On to the next one. Like, what the fuck are they? Robotic spiders, maybe? Fucking hell. Dr. Robotnik from uh, Sonic would be fucking proud of those bad boys. Gotta watch those fucking bombs. This is the worst fucking gun. The rockets, because they just fly anywhere. You can't aim them. It's like fucking North Korea who've got hold of them or something. And just collect all the shit. Like I say, I recommend this game. Like I say, it's just the fucking first level that I've played on. It's just easy. It might get fucking harder, and we'll see as it goes along. I'll do some more videos and shit, but it's just easy to play on, man. It's just nice. And there's Olivia. Oh, talk to it. Press X. Please help me break through the glass walls and set me free. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Another one, then. Boom! Thank you for helping me. I can now go free. Job done. Fucking get in there. Little Yorker. Done! 